The question is basically, can he learn Kung Fu with just one arm? Yeah, I remember reading that comment. Um, it's definitely possible for you to have fun and learn Kung Fu with one arm. I'll give you some historical examples. Like uh, Hong Fat, it's a very rare Kung Fu system. And you can probably find Hong Fat in some of the older Chinatowns. And Hong Fat has a lot of skill set that specialize in two-man drills with one hand and also form work. And uh, another example is my friend Ian Sinclair. I'll get Chris to put his name and link below later. He's a Tai Chi instructor. He does Zhang style, uh, Sun style, Chen style, so many styles of Tai Chi. And he's really, really good at push hands, right? And I've seen him with my own eyes playing with uh, some grapplers. They're pretty good level. And they're going to stand and clinch. They couldn't take them down, right? Just using body neutralization. Obviously, very few Tai Chi guys are at that level. But if you want to do Tai Chi, you can go at that level, right? Even in uh, Wing Chun, there's material for one arm, like in the third form, for example, there's movements like this, which is really simulating this arm is injured or something, using one arm, right? Another thing from Wing Chun that is, for one arm, is like a six and a half point pull. You want to come in for a second, Chris? And, you know, this is like a baseball bat. This, is, this should be a lot longer for Wing Chun, but we don't have one like that. And um, so let me demonstrate some, but go slow because you're not wearing any hockey gloves. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. If I come in and I attack, right? You okay? That would be an example of attack. Give it a second. All right, okay, so now if you attack me any way you want, then you can also use it for defense, right? Right. So that would be an example of um, the pole techniques. And you can get a teacher that's creative enough to translate these techniques into empty hand stuff, right? Another thing you can do from a self-defense standpoint is if you only got use of one arm, you can try to get an equalizer. One of the things you can do is like a pocket stick, right? That's legal in most states, right? But it's not legal in Canada, that's why we don't have one. So I'm gonna use a flashlight to simulate that. And it works pretty good. I can get them before, even if you stop, pretty hard to stop, right? If I slow down more, you can still deal with the guy's hands. Most of these techniques you can do with one arm pretty easily, right? And the techniques I just did, I basically, I did ball ups out of it. I straight from Wing Chun. On the second beat main block, I curled it over like this, which is from each one, right? And then on the third, I thrust it in. That's really from the Tai Chi here, right? So that's something you can do, right? Another thing you want to do if you got one arm is you want to start building a radar in your arms. And you want to be able to stick with one arm freestyle, right? This is from Bagua. Snake. Sticking, we call it in rolling arms. Um, my friend Steve Smith, I'm gonna get Chris to put a link later. He's much, much better than me at this stuff, right? So if you're interested, you can contact him, right? And you can do techniques with one arm pretty easily, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so that's something you can do. Or he attacks me. Another thing you can do is learn to use your legs, right? In different targets. Because you only got one arm, so. so you want to be able to use your body in different parts of things. Um, when I read your comment, I was actually pretty upset because you can't believe people will pick on you when you only got the use of one arm, right? So, if you train hard, there is a chance you can beat the average guy, right? Because most people that pick fights are just average. They don't train a lot. Your chances of running into someone that trains about 30 hours a week is really, really low. So your chances of running into a professional is very low. And most professionals I've met in my life don't pick fights, right? If you're looking for a teacher, some of the things you want to look for is someone that is very creative, it's not traditional. At least open-minded enough to modify the material to fit your needs with one arm, right? Probably you also don't want to find a school that's like a typical martial art thing where there's a lot of bragging, a lot of putting people down, because you just got bullied and you don't need more of that. So try to find a good supportive learning environment, right? And the most important thing is you have to be willing to train harder than the average guy, right? And also try to find a teacher that's used this stuff for real before, right? If he doesn't have real life experience, how can he help you defend yourself, right? So these are some of the things that you should keep in mind, but don't give up. If you got a question, just, you know, just email me. Okay.